Hello and welcome. This is going to be a, a short tutorial on using webhooks and disco hook for sending embeds. Uh, one of the reasons you might want to do this is because A, embeds are awesome and can do all kinds of good uh, formatting and make things nice and neat and pretty. Uh, second reason might be if you have announcement posts that uh, or, or FAQs, stuff like that, that you want multiple users able to do edit. Uh, you can use a webhook and an embed for that, just simply by using this website and sharing the data. So you had to do that. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. There's, there's other reasons that you might uh, come up with. First thing you're going to need is an uh, integration and a webhook. And boom, we have a webhook. You can see it's just named SpideyBot by default. We'll leave that right now. We're just going to copy that URL. We're going to go over to our browser and go to Disco Hook dot org an amazing site we're going to paste this bad boy right in there now you can see it comes with some default information uh we're just going to hit send send all the default shit and uh, there it goes there's our post by spidey bot see this uh the emoji didn't work because we're not on that server so we don't have access to that but let's get rid of all this Something we can uh, take note of in the default stuff is URLs. So this is how you would format a URL. This is pretty standard uh, a markdown. So the text in square brackets and the link immediately behind it in parentheses. Another item to take note of are these two underscores with a space between them. Discord uses this as a blank line. So when you do add the embeds, uh, underneath it, you know, if there can be a space between them um, without putting in like non printing characters and stuff like that. This is just Discord for Um So let's see if we want to get rid of these embeds in this message. What we can do is copy message link, come back over here, and we're going to put the message link where it says message link. And you can see this change from send to edit. We hit edit, we come back over here. Oh, look, it's gone. Perfect. So now we can change any of this stuff. Um, let's say we want to put our own embed in. Add an embed, we're going to expand this out. And as we type over here, you can see there's a little box with a black bar on it right now. Author can be wags. This, none of this is uh, required. You can put URLs to images in here. Um, see if I can. Grab a decent image. These images. The image address. Uh, it's just something I grabbed off Google Images real quick. And you put, you know. A URL to a little like I can put stuff in there. URL obviously will link it to something. When you hover over that, you can see it's a hyperlink. If you have something like that, you want to do stuff like this. None of this is required. Don't need any of this author information. Title, I believe, is required. Title, description, content. The URL, put a URL in here. It hyperlinks the title, so you can click on there. And the content, again, you can use this markdown format to link stuff in here. Here is your color. You can use the swatches to pick whatever color you want. Body da, make it all pretty. And then fields, we have at field. Field one, field name required, field one, content, and you can keep doing this on and on and on. Field two, content, field three, content. Now, what's this little inline thing? This makes these line up side by side. 
Oh, it's a good format. You can do three side by side. If you add add a fourth one, it should go in the next line. Even if we do in line. Yeah. So that's just the the format of uh, Discord limitations. Um, you know what? Something I haven't tried. Can I put a URL in here? No, doesn't work in there. Does not work in the in the field names, but could work in here. Yes. So there's that. Images, you can, uh, you know, add images to it. Up to four. And it puts these at the thing. Thumbnail URL, you can put those, puts an image up here. Your footers, this can be some small text down at the bottom, like do last edited by WAGS. And then the timestamp you can do day. And you can even put a footer URL icon in there. And this should be local time uh, whenever you post it. So let's edit. Look at this fancy message now. Holy cow, isn't that cool? Oh, let's go over mention. So if we want to mention a role. I only have one role on this server, and it's just called admin. Well, if I do admin, uh, Discord doesn't know what that is, right? So what we need to do is get the role ID. In order to get role ID, uh, if you have developer mode on, you probably already know how to get role IDs, but don't. We'll just do this and do at admin. Doesn't uh, link because you have a backslash there, but this will replace with the role ID. We want to copy this entire message, including the angle bracket, and we're going to replace this with that. Now, if we hit edit, you can see it links the role, and this is now highlighted because it mentions me and it's an event role. Something else we can do is emojis. So I have um, this is on here. Yeah, love shark dance. And Redbird's on here. So these are two different emojis that I could use. Well, how do I get that? Same way. Backslash. Redbird gives me a link. Copy this whole thing. Go in here. Edit. Oh, let's get rid of this embed for now because there's a lot of junk there. Oh, it didn't work. What happened? I think I need it without the bread. Oh, wait. Did it work? I was looking at the wrong message. Yeah. Yeah, it did work. I'm I derped. And if you do this with the left start dance. You can see it puts a little A colon in front of that. Just just means it's animated. That's something that this card does. So I can add that in there. Oh yeah, it's actually working on the preview too. That's cool. So we can put emojis and animated emojis in there. Very, very cool. Uh, what else do we need to go over? Um, oh, if you want to link to a channel, that can be done also. Um, if you just put in um, this channel, I think this does work. That does not work, but maybe just this by itself does. Nope. So we have to do the same thing with this. Gets us a channel ID. And again, you don't have to use these commands if you have developer mode on. So if we do this user settings, go to advanced and turn on developer mode. You could do things like right click this channel and copy the ID. So do that. Now this is linked to this channel. The channels, roles, 
users. Uh, same thing with the user. Did we already do that? We might have already did that. That would be my user ID. I wanted to mention a specific user. It just says user up here because it doesn't know how to resolve that number, but you can see in here it's so that's how you do that. Um now say we let's see, let's get rid of all this junk. Let's just put here. This is an example. Spelled correctly. Um so we'll add an embed. We'll just call this oh profile here. This is the same uh thing. You can't change this for um, messages that you're editing. But if we're doing a new one, we can add the username and say, instead of Spideybot, it will say super. I am just fat fingering every day. Awesome. Bad book. Embed. And you can put a, a URL there too, obviously. Or a, a an image that shows up here instead of the Discord icon. If you want to put like a bot URL or whatever. Um. So body title content. Just make it purple. Ish. Okay. Let's send that bad boy. And now we see we have a super awesome webhook embed. That's an example. We have a new line, blank line that makes the space there. Uh, cool. How about that? Looks neat, huh? Now, what if I want to send this to somebody else to update? Well, we're going to. First thing we need is the same webhook. If you use a different webhook, it cannot update it. Only the same webhook can update, edit a post from the previous message if it's the same webhook. So if you come down here to this uh, JSON data editor, you can see this as our information in it. And we can copy this to the clipboard. We can put it in a in the text file. If you have a using like a notepad plus plus, you can say that it's language and we'll say, oh, okay, yeah, I make that makes sense. I recognize that format. And you can save that and you can send this to somebody along with the URL. And if they come into Disco Hook with nothing, all right, they can come in here, do the same thing. And you can control A, delete, and paste this. It apply changes, and they're back to the same thing. Now, the only issue with this one is since there's a username here. We come in here and edit this message with this link. It'll stay. You get the URL for the webhook. Come back in here, copy it again. Hit edit. This is an example. Ooh, that finger again. Yeah, just uh, graze it out so it can't be edited. So this should have updated. Yeah, we'll do. Yay! Did it. So that's uh, how multiple people can do it. Um, you can also share this message, um, but you can see this link will expire. So that's why it's good to have this data backed up somewhere in a, in a file or another post that you guys can edit. And then once you Obviously, once you've updated it, you would want to come in here and copy this clipboard and update wherever that information is stored. Um, the other thing you can do is you can add additional messages. So if you have multiple posts that you want to do, the only um, the only issue there is uh, you'd have to like edit each one individually after that. So if you have a message link, you'd have to put these in multiple messages, right? But you can do that if you want. You don't really have to because you can, you know, do these multiple embeds. You can do another embed for whatever. 
then you can have two. I think boxes do the same thing, along with additional fields and everything else is all specific to that embed. So, uh, that's uh, about 15 minutes. Hopefully that wasn't uh, too long or too boring. Um, that's pretty much the basics of it. If you want to make sure that you're keeping uh, embeds and different, if you have different ones that you want for different messages, you can come in here and you can actually rename this to something else, like the cool, awesome embed, and save it. It doesn't change what's already been posted. But if you were to post something new without changing it, you know, then it would uh, default to that other one, or make sure you're using this username field in the new message, and it'll stay that username. So that about wraps it up. Any questions, please let me know.